Electra Desktop Wallet Setup Guide. The mnemonic phrase will only work for wallets created by the new desktop wallet. If you have a paper wallet or a backup of the wallet.dat, you will first need to install the Qt wallet. Once your private keys are imported, then you will be able to install the new desktop wallet. You will need to make sure the Qt wallet is closed and not running as both wallets cannot run at the same time. First step is to visit electraproject.org and download the new Electra Desktop Wallet. Go to your Downloads folder and open the Electra Desktop.dmg. Move the Electra Desktop application to your Applications folder. After the wallet has installed, it will start automatically. You will then see a screen that looks like this. First time installers will click Create a New Wallet. After clicking on Create a New Wallet, you will see the first setup page. This will be the first screen you see on the new wallet if you already have the old Qt wallet installed and your wallet was encrypted. You will use the same passphrase as the Qt wallet. If you do not have the Qt wallet, you will now set up a new password. After clicking Next, you will see this screen. It will take some time as it is creating your own unique 24-word private key. The next screen will reveal your new private key. The wallet will now force you to write down this private key to ensure your wallet can be recovered in case you forget or lose your password. Please make sure you follow the directions. This is your new private key. This is very important. Without this, you are unable to recover your wallet. So also write this down and keep it in a safe place. This is your responsibility, not the responsibility of any member of the Electra team. After you have written down your mnemonic password, the next screen will ask you to enter it into your wallet. This is only a one-time requirement to make sure you wrote it down correctly. Make sure you put a space between each word, and all words are lowercase. If you misspelled a word or get an error, there is an option to go back and double check the spelling. There is no copy and paste functionality, so the easiest method to enter the phrase is to write it down. Click the I wrote it down button. After you have entered it correctly into your wallet, it will now be ready to use. For recovering a wallet, you will click Recover Wallet via Mnemonic. Please enter your mnemonic password, all lowercase, with spaces. On the next screen, you will see the Electra Wallet user interface. If you are experiencing issues with the wallet synchronization, Download the configuration file from electraproject.org slash wallets. Replace the existing electra.config file and also the peers.dat file with the most current version. Restart your Electra desktop wallet. The peers.dat file is a record of good network connections. Using these files will increase your connection chances to the Electra network. Please wait up to five minutes for the application to establish connectivity. Now you're ready. Transfer Electra into your wallet from the exchange you bought Electra from. Overview. Overview is the default page. It will show you the combined balance of all accounts. This will be the page your wallet opens on. Here, you will also see all of the option tabs. Wallet accounts. The wallet accounts are different in the new version. You will have only three wallet accounts, and these accounts can be restored safely using the mnemonic phrase. This is to make it simpler for all users to understand and use. Purse is similar to the money you have on you, on your person in your pocket, ready to spend. This will be ideal for instant payments through platforms like Twitter. Transfers on this account are limited to a maximum of 100 ECAs for now, because this account is more exposed than the other ones. As in your real life purse, you are not supposed to hold much money in this account. Savings is just that, an account to keep coins you don't want to spend and would rather set aside to ensure they are staking without worrying about them being spent. Funds kept in savings can't be spent unless you transfer them to checking or purse. Checking is the account you will use to pay everyday expenses, such as online merchants or large transfers. Legacy account gathers all the addresses that were used by the old QT wallet. 
these accounts are not protected by the mnemonic phrase, and you will need to ensure that you manually back up the wallet.dat file as long as you still have ECAs on it. We strongly advise users to transfer their current legacy holdings to their savings or checking accounts as soon as they can, immediately after you receive your next staking reward in order to migrate to this safer new principle. Payment. The Payment tab is how you will send your coins, and also where you will find your deposit addresses. Here, you can choose which account you would like to use, as well as the address you want to send to. There is a drop-down arrow below From Account, To Account, and Receive ECA to choose between accounts. Settings. The Settings tab has all of your settings features. There is an auto update box you have the option to uncheck, but you will not receive any new updates until you check the box. If there are any new features added, you will need to click the auto update box in order to receive them. The staking on this wallet is automatic and will update with the upcoming fork. The blockchain fork will be changing stake to a minimum stake age 24 hours, max stake age 30 days. Reward 10% annual halving, block time 90 seconds, and block size 2 megabytes. In addition, the atomic swap feature will be added to this wallet. Double block capacity for greater scalability in the medium to long term. Reducing the block time to 90 seconds will ensure an average transaction confirmation of about 45 seconds and minimum three times faster transactions. When you send coins from a legacy wallet, the balance will automatically move into your checking account. And like before, this will reset your staking. If you are waiting for a stake, please move your coins to the saving or checking wallet once you have received it. It is important to try and move all our ECA holdings to the new wallet accounts as soon as you can. We hope you enjoy the new Electra desktop wallet and would like to remind you to invest responsibly. Please keep your passwords and mnemonic phrases safe. Thanks for choosing Electra Coin for your fast, secure, and private digital payments.